Citizens inside the government have expressed their hope to three business in getting a staff level agreement before December 13, when the IMF visiting team will be leaving back to Washington. The government is aware that further delay in securing at least a staff level agreement with the IMF could undermine the recovery of the economy and the expected inflow from the fund to support the implementation of the 2023 budget. However, the agitations emerging following the announcement of the debt exchange program could undermine the government chances of getting the much wanted staff level agreement because the government will have to show to the IMF that it has workable plans to deal with the debt situation of which the debt exchange program is part. So it means the government will have to accelerate its engagement with these agitating stakeholders in order to convince the fund of being in charge of the situation. Anything short of that may cause further delays in the IMF talks. Let's stay on this subject matter a while longer and seek some perspective. So Dr. Edu owusu Sakodia is a lecturer at the Department of Economics at the University of Ghana. Doc, a very good evening to you. Thank you for joining us on News 360. Hi, good evening. Thanks for having me. Um, from what government has done in the last few days or probably last few weeks, do you foresee a staff agreement at least before the IMF um, staff leave Ghana on Tuesday? Yes, uh, it's possible. Um, we expect the staff level agreement to be reached before the end of the year. And you know, because of the Christmas break, uh, everything should be done by next week before we all break for Christmas. So hopefully, I think that by next week, uh, I understand by Tuesday, they will meet and then agree on one or two things. I think um, a lot has been achieved with respect to this negotiation. Uh, you know that the biggest hurdle for government now is to get the debt restructuring. And I understand that the Ministry of Finance have done intensive work on this education about debt exchange. Uh, it's never been easy. No country has gotten it easy, but I think the government is trying to get this uh, debt restructuring program go uh, we'll, we'll go on course so that we can have the IMF program. We, we must all understand that the IMF program as it stands now is our only savior. And um, I, th this question is actually premised on the fact that there have been quite a number of rejections, close to about eight to ten different institutions have raised some form of opposition against government's debt restructuring program. You're still confident that irrespective of that, the IMF will look at the efforts of government and give us a program, or at least we'll have a staff-level agreement. Yeah, I mean, no country, no government has gotten easy with the debt restructuring, especially with the domestic uh, debt restructuring. So obviously it should be met with some opposition. Uh, and I think the whole thing is voluntary. And I understand if you want somebody to voluntarily exchange his debt, then you must convince the person, educate the person. And I think the Minister of Finance uh, have done a good work, though many people seem like they should have started way earlier to engage the stakeholders before the announcement. But I think uh, all hope is not lost. The engagement so far is okay. Many will oppose it, but others will support it. Uh, most of the uh, agencies are also state-owned agencies. And so I think that the government should be able to convince them so that we can all have the IMA program. So yes, some will uh, oppose it, but others will accept it because they are looking at the bigger picture. The bigger picture here is to have the IMA program that will bring stability to the economy. And, uh, Doc, also on how prepared we Ghanaians should be, these current conditionalities that the Ministry of Finance has given, part of it being the debt ex exchange program, should we expect more after an IMF program where further conditionalities will be rolled out or this is the worst which that has happened and that if we brace ourselves through it, we should be good to go? Well... Well, normally IMF, I mean, before the 90s, IMF will dictate to you exactly what the conditionalities must be. But now, uh, after the 90s, the IMF doesn't dictate again. They only tell you, for example, to reduce expenditure. But they will not tell you the specific areas to cut the expenditure. It will be up to you, the government, to look at the areas to cut the expenditure. So, yes, we have seen glimpses of it in the, in the, in the budget, in the 2023 budget. I am not sure we are going to see any worse thing than... A this debt exchange or the freeze on public employment or any other thing. I think we have seen the West already. I'm not sure there's going to be any West conditionalities that is going to come. Uh, hopefully, 
the government can it should be able to you know the most important is to bridge the gap between revenue and expenditure so you know that a number of taxes have been introduced in the new in the in the 2023 budget and the government you know is trying to freeze public employment just to reduce the government expenditure so yes the worst has already happened uh hopefully we will find the IMF program successful and then have some stability and grow the economy to create the needed jobs that we all crave for Dr. Edu Sarkodia, thank you so much uh, for your time. Clearly, uh, it looks as though this has already started reaping some results as the Ghana city is already making some strong gains against the U.S. dollar. In the coming days, we'll definitely give you further and better understanding of what's happening.